the Clippers, uh, currently the five seed. You've got Oklahoma City right there, larger in your rearview mirror right now. Um, the conversation we're having in the paparazzi, JJ, is that if something significant doesn't happen in the playoffs for the Clippers this year, that this team's going to get broken up. Is that a sense that you feel in the locker room, that you guys feel as you go about your business for Doc on a daily basis? In a basis? sense, yes, because I think there's always been sort of this this timeline, whether it's artificial or not, of, of this summer um, because of Chris and Blake being free agents, um, you know, I'm also a free agent, um, probably not as much of an impact as those two guys. But, uh, you know, this team, when it was put together and, and Doc came aboard, um, you know, the discussion was all about championships. And so ultimately we're sort of judged upon or judged by what we do in the playoffs. And um, so I think a lot of what management and what ownership decides to do going forward um, will be based on what we do in the playoffs. I mean. Steve's going to have some decisions to make. Mm -hmm. I mean, in terms of tax implications, if he decides to bring guys back. Steve Ballmer, you're talking about yes, when you say guy, Steve. Steve. He, he, he's your guy. <laughs> the first time I ever met him, I called him Mr. Ballmer. And he, he immediately say? shot that down mm -hmm. and said, you only refer to me as Steve. So that's Steve Ballmer. Yeah. Okay. And uh, is he as crazy as it seems crazy. to me? No, no. He's as passionate as, passionate. as it seems. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, you had him on your podcast. I had him right? on my podcast. What is it he like interviewing the boss guests I had. on the podcast that you, you yeah. have on The Vertical? Yes, correct. I have a podcast uh, on The Vertical, which is, is part of the Yahoo Network. But, it's um, very good, by the way. You're good at it, JJ. Thank you. I, oh, I appreciate that. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. you. Got it. I, that means a lot coming from you. I thank really you. appreciate that. But uh, he was one of my favorite guests. It's, it's, it's rare, I think, that you get a chance to have one, like an hour of one-on-one -on -one time with your employer. Yes. And uh, and when your employer is, is worth about $30 billion mm -hmm. uh, and owns the team, like it's just, it was such a unique opportunity for me. And um, I got a chance to sort of pick his brain about, you know, basketball stuff, but also sort of business stuff, which mm -hmm. is something that I'm interested in. And uh, he's just he's just a fascinating person to me. Yeah, and he he can dunk a basketball when he's getting up there uh, with the that help was one of a trampoline. Scariest moments I've ever had, by the way. Why? Um, she thought he was not gonna. Well, I, I, I all I could think about was what his life insurance policy looked like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's massive. It's got to be. Well, I mean, if there is something to break his fall right there, uh, including Chuck the Condor, is there <laughs> is there a way we can make that stop, Chuck the Condor? I'm putting you on the spot in a way I understand. Yeah. I'm, I'm just not, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. I don't understand it. I don't it. think a lot of people get it. Well, I mean, the condor isn't even the state bird of California. Chuck is for the Chuck Taylors that nobody's really wearing. I believe there was um, a, a large, uh, at one point, population or maybe the largest population of, of condors mm -hmm. was around <laughs> downtown Los Angeles at oh. one point, or maybe it is now. Okay. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, the, but I is, think that was part of the reason. Okay. Chuck has grown on me, though. He, he's, he's grown on well, me. When been... he first was introduced, I was like, this is this is an awful cartoon. Who mm -hmm. drew that? Mm -hmm. But he's, he's grown on me. Well, I mean, if you know, you're a pop culture guy. You know the line from The Silence and the Lambs. You covet what you see every day. And you, you've, been, you've been around Chuck a lot more than yeah, I have been right. around. But yeah. see, I just, I'm just also not a mascot guy to begin yeah. with. You know, I'm just I not think, a mascot I think when a mascot person. makes sense, mm -hmm. it, it can be like a good thing. Sure. You know? Um, Chuck makes no sense. It, it's, it, <laughs> we're the Clippers. <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.